MacWarrior 5 VR is awesome, but the setup process looks intimidating. Actually, it isn't. We need some mods, some configs and UEVR. That's the tool you need to inject VR support with. First, download the MacWarrior 5 VR mod itself on Nexus Mods. Links are all in the description. Just use the manual download and you're good. Also, download the UEVR config and plugins on the same page. Then download the MacWarrior 5 mod compatibility pack. Also, download Xenopack's Art Optimizer to squeeze out some more FPS and make the game look better. And get the realistic HUD pack. Lastly, go to GitHub and download UEVR. Link also in the description. First of all, extract UEVR somewhere you can easily access it. Mine lives on my gaming SSD. Move the UEVR config and plugin zip into its root. And while you're at it, rename it to MacWarrior Win64 Shipping.zip. Then find your MacWarrior 5 install directory, go to MW5 Mercs and then Mods. Unzip all of the mods you just downloaded and copy them there. Once you're finished, it should look something like this. Now go into the Xenopax Art Optimization folder, open mod.json with any editor and set the default load order to 1. This makes sure it loads after the mod compatibility pack. Every mod has this file, so you can change every mod's order here. Now launch MacWarrior 5 clean without any command line parameters. Then enable the mods and check their load order. If it doesn't look like what you see here, go back to your mods folder and edit the JSON files accordingly. But by default, things should be fine. Now we need to change some settings. First of all, go to Options and Display. Set the display mode to Windowed or Windowed Full Screen, disable VSync and deactivate DLSS. Then go to Graphics and set all of the graphics settings to low, no matter what kind of GPU you have. Yes, even with a 5090. Textures can stay at maximum though. Also make sure ray tracing is disabled. It's not very useful in MacWarrior 5 and just eats up performance like crazy. Now exit the game again. Launch your headset software, like Steam VR, Oculus or connect via virtual desktop. Launch UEVR as an administrator, then launch MacWarrior 5. In UEVR, click on Import Config. Now a folder from within your user's directory pops up called Unreal VR Mod. Copy the MacWarrior Win64 Shipping.zip you renamed earlier there for easier access in the future. Select it and click Open. Click Yes and accept the warning. An explorer window that shows a folder called MacWarrior Win64 Shipping will now pop up. You can just close it afterwards. That's it. With MacWarrior 5 running, go to UEVR and check if OpenXR is selected and Nullify VR Plugins is active. Then use the drop down above the inject button to select MacWarrior Win64 Shipping from the list. UEVR will then tell you that it detected VR plugins. Click Yes and it will take you to the plugins directory. Delete or move the Oculus and OpenVR folders. You'll need to close MacWarrior 5 to be allowed to do this. Don't worry, you don't have to repeat this process ever again. Now restart MacWarrior 5, make sure the executable is still selected and then hit Inject. Congrats, you should be in VR now. Press F9 to center your view, press Insert to toggle the UEVR menu on and off and activate or deactivate your mouse cursor with the Home key. Inside a Mac, you can press F8 to open the Settings menu to configure the displays and HUD. Use the arrow keys to navigate and control to select. Now you can scale and recolor your reticles for example, super nice. In the future, you can just launch your VR software, MacWarrior 5 and UEVR, select the executable and press Inject. That's it. Now test everything out and slowly start raising your graphic settings again. If you want to use DLSS, get DLSS Swapper and swap out the old MacWarrior 5 Mercs DLSS integration with a recent one. This will reduce ghosting by a lot and greatly boost your performance. This video, by the way, was made possible by Beam. 
Sometimes VR isn't supported and you want quick and easy head and eye tracking. Beam works super well, costs just 30 bucks, is easy to set up and all you need is a webcam. Check out my review and guide here on my channel, link in the description. Props to the whole team and everyone helping to make this mod possible. Thanks for stopping by and see you in the next one.